morning welcome to my stream uh, I didn't announce it today because <laughs> I kind of feel like a little bit tired <laughs> uh, maybe I should be recording videos instead when I feel like this but I wonder if that's no <laughs> there's a speck on my glasses and I'm wondering if it's like uh, if it's damaged glass or I think it's fine there now I can see hello <laughs> morning coffee so let's play some sims let's hooray today <laughs> Um, this is my student house, so uh, I'm playing in it this week and oh, this Sims week, <laughs> and it's Saturday, and it's chaotic, uh, to say the least. I just spent a whole um uh, time, uh, fixing children's various children's in the world uh, who were aging up and I had to uh, fix their traits so that they were in compliance <laughs> with <laughs> with my rules that I have set up anyway uh, it, it, no one cleans in this house so uh, it's quite dirty uh, we have Ryan Goldberg here. He has... Uh, is he married to Rosita? I think he is. He might be. Uh, he thinks she is extremely attractive anyways. Uh, yes, she is his spouse, which, which um, I'm quite confused about <laughs> because I had her as a lesbian. But apparently, either she's bi or... You know, I don't, I don't really know why she would <laughs> marry him. Otherwise, <laughs> it's not a great catch. Uh, and she hates children. So, but I think she's pretty. So I thought that we would take this opportunity when they're living apart and I'm playing him, <laughs> that he would impregnate her. But it doesn't go. It hasn't gone too well so far. Uh, it may be because I have the settings here in Wonderful Whims to, where do you go? Pregnancy settings. Um, so there's, I think she's an NPC. I think that's what she counts as now, but I have them all set to 25% because there's a lot of canoodling in my game. So, but let's go through everyone that lives here. We have also uh, Dina Caliente that thinks she can get away with uh, reading four courses at full speed and being a salary person. She's like very ambitious, I think. <laughs> no, she's not. She's lazy and romantic, uh, but she's materialistic and so, so she goes, uh, I shall have all the things. Um, <laughs> and uh, she she has had a kiss with Akira Kibo that uh, is married to her sister but her sister was unfaithful to him with Don Lothario shocker um, which Nina wouldn't touch with a spoon apparently in my game like she was very hard <laughs> to get mainly because the the language barrier anyway so uh that that's a thing that happens i uh, happened i don't know what to do with that well uh but she is actually married to not dylan i don't know who this guy is uh but to george uh and he lives over in strangerville Strange town, Strangerville, uh, with their three children, and apparently, <laughs> I just checked. They have three dogs now. Uh, they usually 
they only had one dog when she left, but apparently she left a void that had to be filled. I don't know. So uh, I'm expecting her to flunk out and uh, end up on probation, like with probably all the classes. And at that point, she will have to leave her job to try and finish the remaining courses. That is what, what Angela did. She only has one course left to finish. And I hope it's going to go well. Um, but she quit her job to be um, more focused on school. Uh, because she actually, she and Dawn accidentally get, got pregnant. And it was a whole, whole ordeal. And she didn't know if she was going to keep it or not. But in the end, they decided that it would be best if uh, she gave the baby up and then it turned out to be twins and so they're adopted away uh, and now she uh, feels like she has to get this course otherwise she, like she did that for nothing <laughs> so so that's what's going on with that uh, here we have Akira Kibo he uh, is uh, quite involved with Dina Cahill Caliente um, but as married she's Cahill I don't know if that's the right way to say it. that's how I say it anyway so and he actually likes Dina better than Nina right now because Nina like betrayed him so here you can see uh, Akira cheated on Nina but also uh, the, I think there used to be a note here that Nina cheated on Akira, or maybe that got replaced when he did it. I don't know, but it's it's complicated right now. Uh, she she uh, as you could see here, she is not a key holder. Okay, I usually make a point of uh, giving a key to everyone's significant others to uh, increase the chances of drama. <laughs> <laughs> because they can just turn up uh, well but they also have I do believe three children yes they have Aiden Nandi and Penelope uh, and Dina has Ezra Gretchen and Anaya which is a preteen, that's why she can't be seen here. <laughs> so that's a unfortunate thing. Here she is. About preteens that you can't see them. She aged up to quite a personality, I think. <laughs> she is active and she's also materialistic. She inherited that from her mother. So but her aspiration is to be that new heartbreaker aspiration thingy. So I um, mean, I don't know what's going on with that girl. Anyway, did I do? Yes, I did. Okay, so here we have some uh, William Wagner person that spawned into my game and got married to Elsa uh, Bjergsen. Uh, and now he's here uh, at the university. Uh, he hasn't been, he has been like slightly flirting with various sims because everyone thinks Angela is so pretty, uh, which she is, but she, everyone has this, <laughs> like, uh, so they can't help themselves. Uh, and uh, here's Sophia, uh, Bjergsen, only she is, uh, Sofia Villarreal after her marriage with, is his name Bruno or Hugo? I can't remember. Hugo. Uh, that ended badly. <laughs> so now she's here trying to get a degree and then she plans on getting into the singing uh, business. She's apparently very bored. And uh, yeah, she also finds Angela very attractive. I didn't even know she was like that way, but apparently 
apparently she is. Uh, and so everyone is like attracted to Angela and she's like, oh, I don't. <laughs> uh, Rosita here is also uh, very attracted to Angela and, and she is like, uh, she, she is so in love with Dawn. They have a, a low friendship bar, but up here at her bed, she has the picture of Dawn and her. They are engaged. Uh, she plans on marrying him as soon as she gets out of university. Little does she know that she, that he lives in, in a trailer in the trailer park uh, along with his girlfriend. She doesn't know about that. She, she is like focused on getting her through her studies. Uh, they have the bar in here because they were having a party. I'm gonna put that outside for a little bit. And of course, then we have one le one person left. Where did, where did I have it before? Did I have it like this? This is inconvenient. Oh, oh well. Okay, we have Alexander Goth. He moved here <laughs> as a teenager, actually, which is kind of against the rules. But her mother, his mother, uh, pulled some strings, and um, yeah, so. Uh, they, they were like, okay, you have an F now, uh, but your mother has monies. So if, uh, did I click done on that? I don't know. Um, if, uh, if you can get your grades up to a D, then we will let you study in a university of your choice, <laughs> which is kind of weird to say because what board would say that? Anyway. That's what happened, uh, but he didn't. Like he did his homework, but he uh, he was slacking off in classes, and he was throwing, um, he was blowing those paper balls thingies instead of listening up. So uh, that didn't go so well. So he is actually not going to go to university, even though he's here. He's going to move out. So that's everybody. <laughs> You all know him. Uh, does he have any romantic interest? I think he does not. Uh, he was married to Rochelle, but she died. So that and now he doesn't find her attractive at all. I I'm going to assume that's because she's dead. So and he he's like he's not happy with life. <laughs> like he's, he's he's really not happy with how things turned out but you know I, I think it's gonna it's gonna be fine in the end he's a family sim he's he's just he just has to find the right person he doesn't want to have a child right now <clears throat> but you know once he finds a person he probably will also on monday this is going to be re-rolled because he's a family sim who doesn't want to have children so that's the rules that I decided. Anyway, so Ryan here, like let's let's just unpause, shall we? <laughs> he wanted to um, uh, list something on Plopsy because he is a creative sim. So I think we should knit some clothing, knit animal clothing. Uh, no, we're gonna do beanies, and uh, but they're only for children and up. I thought when I first saw this, I thought they were for babies, and I thought that would be so cute. But apparently, not even toddlers can wear these. You need to be uh, at least a child to be wearing it. But let, let's make a orange tiger beanie, and then he can list that on Plopsy later. Like, maybe I should get his uh, painting skill up, but Angela is a painter and so many sims are painters. I, like, I feel like I needed something new. Oh, uh, they're getting money continuously because when I randomized the new lot trait, it got to penny pixels. We also have on lay, lay line, which apparently, um, I mean, that that increases the chances of twins 
which is probably why Angela had twins and also she is a twin herself. Um, but also it makes everybody want to try for baby. So I don't know if there is, she wants to earn money. I, oh, I loaded into another household. So now she wants to sell a painting as well. Uh, so now everybody's whims got on. She wants to adopt a child. Uh, they, they get unpinned. I hate that. So I need to repin them. She wants to ride a bike again. Is Don here? All right. Okay. Well, you you go kiss Don apparently. And he wants to buy an object worth a hundred. I'm gonna pin that. It's bound to happen <laughs> at some point. Like a hundred. That's so low. Uh, he wants to stargaze. Well, I can let you do that. Stargaze. There you go. And then she wants to travel. You're not allowed because I I don't want to deal with unpinned whims again. And she wants to get a good friend. I hope that's going to happen. What do you want? <laughs> he wants to adopt a dog. Not Not allowed in this house. No, no, no. And he wants to play with the rodent. They have one up here here uh let's make sure it's cleaned and then he can play with it and i hope he doesn't die from it <laughs> uh, anyway um yeah he also wants to to wash laundry in the washing machine and i think uh, that's a good idea to do um right I think everyone has done their, um, oh, we had more age ups. I don't know these people. Wait, who was that? Tammy Harris. Tammy Harris? All right. Uh, Cassandra Goth has married uh, Jeb Harris. So maybe they're, they're related. I think everyone did these presentations and term papers. I'm gonna check, no. <laughs> Okay, Gina did not do this. Oh my goodness. You are supposed to work on this one. Uh, the rule is that if they are in the yellow here or above, they are... Whoa, what happened now? Alexander Goth just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment and found themselves staring at Angela Pleasant because everybody loves Angela. Oh my god, that woman has so many of the qualities that make Alexander's heart race. As if it were on a cross-country marathon, their beautiful features meet Alexander's desires to readily, so readily that it's almost as if whatever created such a sim sculpted her specifically to them. <laughs> oh my goodness! Now the only thing left to do is to pick up their jaw and work up the courage to speak to such an Aphrodite. Oh my god. <laughs> Fully, Angela will be kind enough to reciprocate Alice Alexander's feelings. Oh my goodness. Um, I mean, uh, <laughs> um, I know why this ha is happening though, because uh, she, it's her own fault. <laughs> she asked for it. Uh, she has redeem the unique appearance because I thought she was pretty so, so I redeemed it for her um, I'm gonna make her a night owl now um. <laughs> Not everybody thinks she's so pretty so uh, be careful with that apparently but you know like let's just have her uh, I mean Alexander why do I keep calling him her? I don't. I don't know. I'm just using the wrong word. I don't think it has anything to do with him, at all. Will you get whims to talk to Angela now? No, you will not get no new whim. Apparently. All right. Um, but he does want to ask about love life. So you know, hey, uh, well, a compliment to parents apparently. So. Let's uh, let's pursue this. Uh, am I supposed to be 
friendly as him about that? Do they speak the same language? I do not know. Well, I noted that down in my spreadsheet. I'm just going to check. So, Alexander is a Simlish native, and so is Angela, so they should get on fabulously. Well, uh, what do you want to do now? Discuss favorite authors, because he is a bookworm, I think. Yes. Okay, I, I think stuff is happening here <laughs> that I didn't read. Uh, okay, so... I'm, Okay, Tomax Colette is having some issues in his relationship and Alexander just figured out that there is <coughs> a romance uh, skill due to, I think it's Wonderful Whims, I'm not sure. This is a s not supposed to be my coffee. Oh, Snoob, on you, yourself. Can you hear my game? It's very funny at times. <coughs> I <laughs> I sometimes um, copy them. Uh, at level five, she is. Well, yeah, but I mean, I don't think, uh, Alexander, I, I don't think you can uh, get anywhere with her. What are you doing now? Okay, browse books. So much for that. I don't think he could go get anywhere with her anyways until uh, she gets really hurt by Dawn. Then it's like... Yeah, th then, then we'll see who swoops in first. <laughs> I wonder what she thinks about Alexander. She thinks that he is very attractive. Indeed. And what about Don? He is extremely attractive. So she like she prefers Don, but you know, she's smitten and opposite attracted. Really? Angela has a romantic feeling for Don, even though they are very different Sims. They are yeah, he's a, oh yeah, he she, Don is a slob and Angela is neat, so that is quite uh, interesting. <laughs> I am supposed to be focusing on him, but he is boring. <laughs> but Ryan just acquired the knitting skill. Uh, for, unfortunately, it's Saturday, so Dina can't... Uh, wait, isn't she like an indoor sim? No, that was a Kia. So, um, she's a people person. Apparently. She can't uh, hold the presentation until Monday, but it's good if it's done until then. I always get nervous about the presentations because uh, I have missed the time window before to hold the presentation. So at the earliest opportunity, once they get to excellent here um, or outstanding for that matter, then I hold the presentation. So yeah, um, good, good cleaning, Angela. <laughs> well, it's good that she does it because nobody else will. And this isn't even her room. This is this is uh, Alexander's and what what you call it, uh, uh, Sophia's room. Oh, knitting project completed. We will go and have it sold on Plopsy or listed on Plopsy. Uh, list on Plopsy. Where, what are you doing now? I hate that there's not an action that we can <laughs> cancel. <laughs> they just, we, we don't know what they're doing. They just walk around and doing stuff. Wasn't there an evolved plant somewhere? What, is it the floor that is clean? Okay, under all these laundry things. Now he wants to try for a baby. See, that's the lot trait going on. Uh, it is from lot trait. Okay, so do laundry, add to washing machine because he wants to. Uh, it's in the middle of the night, so we won't call uh, Rosita yet. 
Uh, he's gonna have a jump bug. I'm gonna cancel out that. <laughs> There's way too much laundry for him not to have a jump bug before he gets to the laundry machine. See, that always happens. Like, they get so confused when there's too much laundry. Uh, which is kind of weird. Like, I don't know if, if, if that could be fixed. Like, I, I don't know if they're, like, after a while. It's like, it's like this. Okay, so they pick up one clothing pile and then they go looking for the next one. So I assume that the looking for the next one uh, code that runs right after they pick one up uh, has a bug in it. <laughs> uh, there's some kind of um, state that could be reached that doesn't have it ha doesn't have a fail state or something. Uh, like uh, there's no error handling, exception handling. So they just jump bug, uh, t pose. I don't like to call that. Rabastan Carrier has a, a chapter elder. I don't like it to call it a T pose because it's not really a T pose, is it? They do the. I am getting ready to fly pose. <laughs> okay, so now she is um, in the red here, or like more than yellow. So we'll let her try and do. But her term presentation is excellent. I think you can get it up up to outstanding. And maybe we should do that because later though. Because she, I, I think she's going to need it. <laughs> so I think that would help. I'm not sure exactly how the code for university works. But you see these symbols here. So uh, if you're... I think that if you are better in charisma, you have an easier time in the course. I think, or maybe the the yeah, I don't know if if the final grade is like solely based on the skill because that would be then why would you have to study at all? But they get skills from studying, so I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this dude will make it though he's only already on probation and he has four courses he was like that when I got to him uh, I don't know exactly how that happened but he didn't have any courses done why didn't you take this one what's wrong with you do laundry these clothes are already clean. Well, add them to dryer then. What happens now? Chat with Dina. Okay, but you should also wash wash the laundry because you have a wish to do so. And I don't think he wants to... Um, I don't think he wants to be unfaithful. He is... He would be happy to have a child though. Uh, where is his thing? Oh, right. He's a creativity sim. I'm not sure about if I should keep those. It's um, The personality mod has the extra like power sim, creativity sim and grilled cheese. Like the grilled cheese? Sure. <laughs> but but the um, uh, creativity and power, I'm not so sure about uh, if they just screw up my dynamic or what is going on. Um, not sure. Uh, but, but I'm keeping it in for now. We'll see. <laughs> I might stop giving that to them. All right, okay, what is Dina doing? Oh, now she's in the yellow again, so I can have her. <laughs> I can force her to work more in the rain. Oh, that's mean. Hey, come on. Why can't I take it? Ugh. Well, there's always build mode, isn't there? 
Whoops. Uh, usually, used to have them always work on them over here. I don't like move objects off. I don't like it on, except when I need it on, then I <laughs> absolutely like it on. There you go. Oh, I hope it doesn't catch on fire. <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> well, she can ask for feedback. Uh, well, ask Akira what he thinks. Get out of the bath and, and ask Akira. Uh, does he, what does he want? Oh my goodness, he wants to try for a baby too. Um, I think they would make, like Akira and uh, and Dina here, I, I remade her. Uh, this is not uh, the standard Dina, but this is my Dina, the, the way I imagine her in The Sims 4. Uh, including these uh, slightly enlarged eyes. Excuse me. <coughs> uh, it's not the corona I've tested. Um, I've been tested and it, I'm, I'm safe, uh, er, <laughs> safer <laughs> to be around than someone with Corona. I still have a cold. Uh, I told my, uh, like every time you get the result back from the testing and it's negative and you get, oh, well, I'm not sick. Well, actually I am sick. <laughs> <laughs> like there are other germs in this world but don't you think they would have such cute babies like his, his current babies with uh, Nina is already uh, very cute so uh, I, I, I kind of might I want more of them <laughs> anyway oh uh, her eyes I was like these are not, I, I know they are working on remaking Dina and Nina and like a lot of Sims in The Sims 4, but, and they are giving them like uh, eyes that I assume are either Egyptian or uh, Italian because that's their heritage, but also like the proper lore, um, her, what is it? Uh, I need to check. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually her, her uh, well, would you say it was her grandmother on on her father's side uh, is actually uh, pollination technician number seven. So, like, I imagine that's where the big eyes come from. <laughs> so, you know, uh, the... the so I don't I don't think we, we need to say that she's like whitewashed or anything in regards to the eyes because yeah I she, she's human washed if anything <laughs> in the in the, in the vanilla game anyway uh, I did give both Nina and Dina a darker skin tone because hello I also did that to to uh, Bella Goth and Cassandra Goth because again hello <laughs> like, why why are they the wrong color um, well if you want to try for a baby like I would say go for it <laughs> uh, once you're done giving her advice did did they do anything about that I don't know she called him down and said like hey can you look at my presentation and he was like sure you want to do some stuff too because um i'm feeling the vibe so um so this is happening but um the, the chances are very slim I feel because uh, I had a lot of canoodling doing uh, going on or woohooing going on this week and still nobody is pregnant that I know of so um, you know and uh, Angela actually was actively trying she had 
who went down over and over and had pregnancy tests, but nothing happened. And now she just wants to adopt. <laughs> I don't know. It may be because of the children she gave up. She feels like uh, if she had adopt children, like she gets not the same ones back, but you know, I I don't know her reasoning really, but some something like that. Uh, but I don't think she would be against having children of her own. I think we can actually shake. <laughs> She does not want a pregnancy right now, but she wants to adopt, so, well, but she doesn't want to do that while she's in here. Not allowed, as I said, so, uh, okay, oh, he wants to embrace Dina too, but she's sleeping now, so you, you can just chill out. And, oh, uh, Angela actually published a book because I was thinking like her, her class is like in the writing skill and she's already done the homework. <laughs> so I had her uh, write a book and I'm not sure I'm allowed according to my own rules, but you know, why not have her write another book? <laughs> uh, like... <laughs> Let, let's just do it. Uh, she did a guide for uh, working out, but she we can do a short story or maybe a screenplay would be that would be fun. And uh, Alex is just hanging out back here, like hoping she will recognize him or uh, acknowledge him. I don't know. Uh, it happened one lunch break. This is a screenplay. I usually just leave them like this. Unless you have a better suggestion for me. Uh, but sometimes, sometimes I do. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Where are my children? Uh, like, because... Um, she misses them. <laughs> she she has not. There has not been a day when she didn't regret uh, giving them up. Uh, about a woman that gave up her children and misses them. Not self bio. <laughs> Only it is, you know. <laughs> and I always make copies of the books before I um, before I publish them. Oh, uh, well, I wonder where her book is now. Did she put it in the inventory? Maybe it's in the bookcase. Because I think she should have it. This is her book, Golly, Golly Z's. And I do think that we should put these books in the library. I think Dawn made a book too, somewhere in here. Not these, obviously. But I think it was a children's book and we should have that also in the library boonies. <laughs> Jeez, there's so many books. I don't know where it is. Maybe he has it. Well, he not here right now, so. There's a lot of duplicates. All right, oh well. Maybe we make a duplicate of this. So that we have two, okay. Let's have Alexander do it. Create a copy. Because she's busy about writing the next book. There we go. And then we can put this back in Angela's inventory. And this we can put in the bookcase. So then it will always be here. 
She will be very famous. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, if you were one of the ones that uh, followed me while I was offline, thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate all my followers. I have 72 now. That's insane. <laughs> I didn't think I would get so many followers. And it's like increased a lot lost, like uh, uh, lately. That's what I try to say. Like, even though I'm not that good at English, I feel uh, very appreciated when people follow me. I assume everyone just follows me and then watch my streams when I'm offline. That is fine. I actually like that. <laughs> but I would be delighted if someone came in and said hi too. Anyway, oh, Ryan is up and he has the mission, you know. Um, oh, now he wants to vacuum. What is going on? Why does he want that from? Oh, because it's raining. Everyone wants to clean because it's raining. What? Really? Oh, I should put this online somewhere. I made this at some point. I don't remember how I did it. But if you put this out, it spawns <laughs> rocks and stuff that you can dig. Um, and uh, I think that's very handy. And I don't know, sometimes these change without me doing anything. And I don't know if they just disappear after a while and then new forms. Or if Sims automatically dig them up. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> But it's seven in the morning, so maybe Rosita is not, that's not what I wanted to do. Sleeping anymore. That's what I wanted to say. Zuzul. Oh, uh, Alexander can't move out right now because he's not in sync with the rest of the world. <laughs> he needs to stay until Monday. Oh, there's a debate showdown? Uh, not sure. Someone wanted to go to a guest lecture, but I think that's gone now. He wants to level up in logic skill, but he's doing his homework. So, well, I'm, I can mock that, can't I? And he wants to talk about piano sonatas. Okay. Now Alexander wants to try for a baby. With whom? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, let's just leave that for now. I think he's gonna he's gonna find someone at some point. Like you gotta work on it, Alex. You can't just stand around in the kitchen talking to your buddy here. Uh I mean I mean you can. That's not giving you any girls and why oh my goodness, now he's sick? Well, you gotta figure that out, won't you? Uh, wait. Wait. I confused myself. Rosita will be right over, so she will be here soon. My goodness, where is she going? Well, he's he has to go to the loo anyway. Where? What? Why does he? Why does she do this? She always does this. So she goes away and stands over here. For some reason. Why? That's weird. Someone better take care of these trash plants or they're gonna die. <laughs> I'm not, I don't care. <laughs> okay. I, it, let, then she goes over here. Alright. Okay. What are you doing? I don't know. Well, kiss her hands for God's sakes. Because we need to like try for baby with her. Uh, she is gonna hate that so much. But she can have a baby off screen and I won't have to deal with it. <laughs> I feel kind of bad. <laughs> but you know. Maybe uh, like she can dump the baby on Ryan when he like um, inevitably 
gets kicked out of here. <laughs> like next term. Yeah, are you getting to her soon? Ah, we have a phone call. Olivia, hey Alexander, I've been thinking about getting to know Mia Holly. Do you think the two of us should hang out sometime? I mean, I don't know who you are or who she is, but sure, do it. <laughs> I wish those didn't happen. I I wish that just happened, you know? People just met each other. Why, why do you need my permission? <laughs> <laughs> very rarely do I say no if it's if it's uh, someone that I know the sim that they are calling hates uh, and they like the person that is calling then sure then I say no um, but otherwise you know well kiss her cheek and then go for it uh, die for thrills because it's closest <laughs> so it's that it's very convenient mm, I had a mod that removed that inter that animation but it doesn't bother me that much does it bother you do you ever go up to your partner and go uh hey you wanna uh -huh, in the bedroom and he says uh, or they say yes and they then you both go woohoo <laughs> like I don't know if that would be a mood killer someone broke the computer Angela did you write too hard I don't know congratulations on your recent birthday says is that probably Jeb thank you Jeb yes Oh, he's sick. Uh, well, uh, uh, if you repair this computer, you can buy some medicine, you know. And here they are in this uh, fantastic dumpster. Getting it um, on, bumping up uglies, dirties, <laughs> stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why isn't this fulfilled yet? What is Dina doing? Is she still sleeping? Well, well, um, no protection was used. Practice presenting. What are you doing, Angela? Wait, why was she using the computer downstairs? She could use this computer. Uh... <laughs> oh, That's actually heartbreaking to have a book called Where Are My Children? I hope she finds them someday. I don't know if you can, as a parent that gave them up, try and find them. Don't know if that's possible. Is there an option for it? Is it under here? Uh, no. What is this? Remove parent reaction to the. Oh my goodness. Set pregnancy risk for the sim. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, so many things. I don't know. Maybe it's under here? No. Turn off pop choice pop ups for entire household. I don't know what that means. Uh, 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 uh. Like, how would you go about doing it? I don't think there is a way. That's probably why I don't find it but I'm I want to look for it um, it wouldn't be in here would it no I mean I know where they live I can just send her there but that would be cheating <laughs> 
Um, no, no, no. Like, if she, like, sees them outside somewhere sometime, um, if she's ever in the right world, which is not right now, then, then I will have her say hi to them and stuff. But, um, not, not until then. This isn't your computer. <laughs> this is your computer. Oh well. <laughs> this is Akira's computer. Oh, I'm getting it all mixed up. Uh, bup, bup, bup. Lock computer for everyone but Akira. Does she have to stop when I do that? No. She can just, she can finish what she's doing. She like, hey Akira, I went on your computer. You can use mine if you want. Uh. What he still wants to try for baby? Why does it, why didn't this for fulfill? Well, uh, normally I would say that uh, they did it, so it's done. But I'm gonna use this glitch or bug or whatever it is. Maybe it's by design. So I should fix those plants. Uh, maybe Angel. No. Akira, what are you doing? You're reading a book and listening to presentations. That's probably important. Uh, maybe William can do it. Harvest all. Weed. I'm, I'm surprised that he's so uncomfortable and it still lets me do this. Do they need water too? I can't say- no. No, they don't need water. Why do they never need water? I don't understand. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, right. Uh, lock the camera. I love that function. I love that we have that. It's really recent. I think it came in the November patch. Or around that time. I don't know. Um, and it's so much easier. Before I used to do it like this. I, I knew this... The sim was somewhere in the neighborhood, you know, because like if they are like uh, over here, it you can't call them over because they are already here. So what I used to do is I went in here and I went in here and I went to take photo of or with, and then you can sh choose every sim that is like close by. I don't know if you have to know them beforehand, but maybe you do. Um, but then you can see, like, okay, so Zoe is somewhere here. So that might be interesting to know. <laughs> so you can use it for that now. But uh, then then you also had to, like, wait for your sim to walk up to them and say, hey, I want to take a picture. But now we just do lock the camera. And we get straight to them. It's very nice. So uh, let's... What are you doing now? Oh, okay. Well, if you... Can you also listen to her? Where do I click? Listen to presentation. Let's, let's support Dina here. She's trying at least. Like in her pajamas. Oh, well. I don't think I changed her body. She was like that when I got there. Oh, I might have done. Because she's like, she's a gold digger and she probably had some work done, you know? <laughs> uh, I hate when you change them, though. That you can't choose if you change them and it's like just like a surgery or if it's genetic. So that it's either you change them or you're not. So. Well, uh, be enticing to her. Is the presentation done? No. Oh, now we have a standing around-ish thingy on our hands. Well, well, it can't be helped. Okay. I usually just pause. It used to be that when you went into the menu like this, the game seemed to have an easier time, like, unclogging everything, like, going through all the calculations or whatever. I don't know if that's the case anymore.
but man why does it take so long to save that's odd oh someone put on what what music station is this if i do this could go oh it's a retro station i love that It has both like Sims 2 and Sims 1 music and this I believe is from Sims 1 and I play that game so much. <laughs> the music is like uh, bringing happy memories. What are you doing? You, you lose concentration for like one second and like what is he doing? He's like saying, Dina you look good. Hey, your wife is right there. You, what are you doing? Oh, she didn't understand what he was saying. I do sincerely hope that uh, Rosita didn't hear that. Uh, but to be sure, let's serenade her a little bit. And then, and then we should find, like, uh, he doesn't have a bed. But they can uh, do it in the shower, maybe. What? I don't know why he doesn't have the option to do it with her on the objects. I, I always need to click her and have it this way. But you know, uh, woohoo. And oh, they can do it in the observatory as well. Uh, but I think it's time for the shower one. I think they did it in the observatory yesterday. So, you know, gotta, gotta catch them all or something. All right, uh, did you fix the computer, Alex? Because you dearly need the medicine. Uh, order, where is it? Order, medicine. One bottle of medicine, please. And then just take that. This is way. I wish this worked slower, though. I wish that you got a buff from the medicine that you're taking the medicine. It seems to be working, and then you get a buff <laughs> that it did work, or or that it didn't seem to go over us or something. Like I, I wish it was just a little bit more slow working instead of instant, because. Like, see, see this? Now it's like, all right, and it was almost no money. So it's like just an inconvenience of me having to click. Uh, I could, of course, let them be sick, but I don't, I haven't figured out any rules for that yet. Oh, you got well. I should do that too today. If I can. What is happening? Oh, he's serenading her? Sitting in the sofa? Oh my goodness. He's not even lazy, but he has all the... Um, ...behaviors of someone very lazy and slacking off and everything. Like, he lives in the... He doesn't have any money. Like, any money. None. <laughs> whatsoever. And... <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't want he doesn't ever want to get a job and like he got the the wish to go to university and then i said sure let's do that let's just get further into debt because that's probably what will happen like now he has a student loan that he will ne need to pay at some point uh school spirit day uh is happening at the Foxborough campus stop by and join in the cheer and Marisa Daly has aged up to adult and Hemi is showing signs of growing old. He also died before, but it didn't seem to take really. <laughs> like They said he's starved to death and you should uh, consider goldfish. But then he was still, still there. I don't understand it. Anyway. Uh, what was it about this spirit day? There you go. The Foxborough campus. Stop by and join the cheer. Okay, but they... <clears throat> I, I couldn't put a... Well, I could put a house like in the middle of... <clears throat> See, I, there's reasons to this madness. I had the house uh, being over here before. Uh, but 
that meant that every time I wanted to use one of these buildings or these buildings that are like, like they're clickable, I had to travel. And that unpins all the, the wishes. And also, like it was a hassle. <laughs> so I just moved them over here and I can just go to guest lectures, which I forgot to do, by the way, again, uh, because it's only available. I think it's over here. Uh, ah! Come on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's only available between 5 and 7 p.m. And uh, I keep forgetting to send people there. But it's fine. I, th I don't think anyone has a wish for it now. I think it was William that had a wish for it. Uh, so, you know, if I remember, I can put him over there later. But also, I can just have him play some chess with someone. Uh, play with. Who should he play with? Like, with Sophia, maybe? Play with Sophia. I don't know what Sophia's up to. What are you doing? Oh, oh, oh don't play. Oh, my goodness. Now she's going to stop doing her homework. Oh, well. Don't put the homework on the floor, Sophia. You will never find it again. <laughs> I will never find it. Oh my goodness, that's so loud, Alexander. Stop it. Actually, don't stop it. It's nice. They actually do clean up sometimes. Oh my goodness, so many people just aged up. I need to check that it's not somewhere. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. How many? Why did this happen? <laughs> oh my goodness, Madison Pancakes, Kai Her, Lolana Kealoha, uh, Edina Hekekia, Evelyn Uha, Poppy Colette, Gulam Benali. I don't know any of these children. Children, Sherilyn Rosoya. Oh, we know who uh, Mr. Rosoya is, don't we? Uh, Awalani Kalani, Angus got a lot of children over in Solani. It seems to have been uh, aging up. Uh, Warren Romeo, Sylvia Avatore. Uh, oh, all right. Eva Avatore had a child, I think it was with um, Vlad. No, Vatore. He's, he's called Stroud, isn't he? I don't know, but it was, I think it was with a vampire, so, yeah. Krim, Krimhild? Really? I don't think I named them. Did I? I might have done. I randomize names on various websites. I don't know what I'm doing uh, half the time. Amity Chopra, Brendan Stevenson, Latham Janes, Kakashi, oh, Kakashi, <laughs> Kakashi Akiyama. Uh, I haven't played him, but I did enjoy putting the name in when he was uh, born, and then s soon after, of course, Naruto, <laughs> Lazar Quirrell, uh, okay, Adelia Quintiliana, Quintanilla. Oh, well, Sharif Foreman has aged up to a child. You are not allowed to age up yet. Wait, it's Saturday. Yes, I, I put in Saturday in my spreadsheet, didn't I? Uh, they are early. Yes, it's Saturday in my spreadsheet. They're not supposed to age up yet. They're supposed to age up tomorrow, but they, they do it now. <laughs> I'll go around and fix them after. It, it's fine. Chet Cavalry, Flow Cavalry, uh, Guar Lastara. <laughs> what? Guar? Th that's probably my fault. I'm sorry. We just call her Gwen if we ever get to her. I can't say Guar. Uh, apparently I can, you know. Carolyn Merchant, Hoshi Ito, uh, R Rankin Lovegood, Rankin. Uh, okay, Abel Bell. Okay, yeah, because uh, Michael Bell had a child, apparently. Uh, Atara Kotodzie. Ko what in the world? All right. 
Enya Keaton. Oh my goodness, there's so many. Uh, since I said I will go around fixing them afterwards, I don't, I'm not sure why I read all those. <laughs> but you know, here they all are. Ona Paget, Elliot Lee, Lowry Sanchez. All right, okay. If uh, you say so. Uh, are you getting there? It feels like it was like forever that I said... So, uh, Vlad apparently has a child too, because Bartholomew Stroud, who's age up to child, and Blaze Valentine. All right, okay. Oh, it keeps going. Oh my goodness. Brandy Daly. Angela finished writing an, a book again. Angela, you are like a machine. Why are you down here all of a sudden? Didn't I put her upstairs to write that? I don't know. What is happening? Now she feels very good about herself and wants to do sit-ups and go ride a bike. You do that, Angela. You do you. Ride around on your bike. You deserve a nice ride around the campus on your bike. Someone should get the mail too. Uh, Alex, don't just stand there. Get the mail. Uh, why are you looking at this sad painting? Uh, who did that? Sophia. Sophia. Go, go list this on Plopsy. Sometimes my... Uh, uh, Plopsy thingies doesn't work when I am about to ship them, but sometimes they do. So let's hope they do. Hansen Steinberg has age up. Hansen, oh, to to adult. Oh well, yeah, okay. Wait, I, <laughs> I can't keep up with this. Raven Edgewood too. Oh, so Hansen was a young adult. I hate how they put everyone in young adult. They live forever. <laughs> <coughs> I usually thought, oh, in The Sims 2, when you, you created an adult, they were adult. So then they went to Elder and then they died. Uh, because you don't want to keep those uh, pre-maids around too long. They have no skills. <laughs> you want the new ones that you uh, give skills during their lifetime. Elizabeth Dreamer has age up. Oh. The Dreamer family had a child too. Uh, oh my god. Hammy brought you a postcard from its grand adventure. This little rodent traveled an awful long way. Uh, sure. Can we see that postcard? Where is it then? Like, is it on the cage? No. I don't understand. Where is it? I don't know. Angela Huntington has aged up to a child. She is a redhead too. Well, that won't get confusing when there's two Angelas with red hair. <laughs> like I already um, mix up Angela with, with Nina because they both have red hair and in The Sims 4 they are the same age. So um, I get confused. So I try to give her a more unique style. She likes white and she has a basic clothing style. I, I give everyone a clothing style. Uh, I think that's fun because otherwise... Uh, whose bike is this? <laughs> it might be Sophia's bike. Why is it here? Well, you should go get your bike. There you go. Yeah, it's her bike. <laughs> Don't be leaving your bike around, you'll lose it. Um, okay, well now, I think now we gotta do that. It's, it would be cheating not to, to remove it. But he got a new want to embrace a Rosita. So, it's all good. I need to check. I need... Am I allowed to shake? I don't know. Do we shake if she's pregnant or not? 
Oh, thank you for following, Karma. That I really appreciate it. I hope you are enjoying your stay. Now, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, I'm uh, recovering from a cold that is not COVID. I tested it. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm good. Uh, and now I'm wondering if I should click this. <laughs> <laughs> because should I check if uh, Rosita is pregnant or is that cheating? I uh, I kind of want to do it. You know what? I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shake. <laughs> I'm just gonna shake. Oh my goodness! No, she is not pregnant. What did I click the wrong person? <laughs> I'm actually on William. Uh, yeah. So William is not pregnant. Now we know that. Um, but let's check Rosita too. She is pregnant. I didn't. I didn't uh, pay attention to if it was a boy or a girl because uh, I, I just wanted to know if she was pregnant, and she is. Okay. Well, finally, they have been trying a lot. <laughs> So, um, now he wants to embrace her. So I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna do that. I I try not to interrupt them when they doing their homework, uh, because you know they are in university. They're supposed to focus on the studies, but uh, they don't always do that. Now this is. Still excellent. Can I get it up to outstanding? I want it to be outstanding. Uh, maybe if we do a refine and organize again, maybe we get it up to outstanding. Uh, I don't know if you can though, because I usually just give the presentation when it's excellent, but it's Saturday. She gotta wait anyway um, until Monday. So she got time, but she could, <laughs> she could focus on um, getting her term paper in order and not focus so much on, on this one uh, because the term paper is for the writing skill. So she should probably branch out, but I'm thinking that if she gets these courses up uh, enough, uh, okay, maybe not. Then she will be half there. <laughs> uh, by the way, man, can maybe I can help you with your Twitch designs? Uh, well, why <laughs> don't don't you like my design? I'm trying to keep it simple. I don't want a lot of stuff, but sure it. It would be nice to have like nicer ones, but also I hope that the content is good enough that people not, don't go um, like, oh, your Twitch designs are like not so good. So I will enjoy your content, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, so uh, I really, I, I, I would rather not pay anything for it because, you know, I'm just doing this for fun and not get, making any money off it. So it would be uh, like I, sh I should spend some time on it myself uh, if I want it to be anything else. Uh, I, I got lost. In, uh, in my thoughts now where is Dina oh this is Dina's room right she likes garden decor do you know how hard it is to to make a room for a sim that likes garden decor and purple <laughs> it's like this is the best I forgot to put curtains but it is what it is now it's it's to uh, let as much light in for her plants I tell myself but let's have her uh, actually start on the term paper because I think oh we have had a lot of notifications too. The debate showdown will end in one hour. Oh, I didn't. I missed that. I, it's 
It's fine though. <laughs> oh, thank you for the good luck. I really appreciate that too. Um, so that was a really nice suggestion, by the way. Uh, usually when people want to sell you stuff, I end up getting mad. <laughs> <laughs> that was not like that at all so thank you for being so uh understanding uh, okay wait um well he's done with everything except homework and he has gotten his wife pregnant so he's done i think uh and then oop angela is still out bicycling uh like she doesn't have a clue Oh, she's very tired, isn't she? Stop this then. Will you go home if I just stop you? Oh my goodness, she's she's her, has become a, a tiger. <laughs> she got the tiger sickness. Oh dear. Why do you stop your bike? Yes, and put your bike back out again. Hi, Sophia. What are you doing? Are you like... Hey, can a coffee place open soon? Because it's afternoon and I need my fix. Please. Um, yeah, I think you're out of luck there, Sophia. Oh, wait, 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 wait. She is singing. Uh, why don't we have her? Mm -hmm. Stand around when where there's people. There's not. There's no people anywhere. Let's let's go here. <clears throat> And then she can just, uh, oh, or maybe by this fountain. She can have a little sing song. Uh, practice singing? No, isn't she good at singing? Or did she only have a talent for it? Mm, she's level three. So, like, do we only need, can we only, oh, we have the sing song. Do a pop song. This one. I don't know. Yeah, stop now. <laughs> Maybe someone will come and give her some money for it. Uh, does that give her fame? She is not like on a public lot, but she's out in the... No, she doesn't. Okay. Well, she can go home after. Well, you need to be on a public lot for ha to have fame um, building up for that. Oh, Stream Elements is uh, telling you that uh, you can request a song. You cannot. <laughs> I should um, figure out how to ta uh, take that away. Uh, because I used to have uh, Nightbot on. But I found it to be too distracting. And also I worry about the demonetization on different platforms too much so because i put this up on on youtube after and they're really um yeah the the even though you use only music that is like not copyrighted or every music piece is copyrighted but it's not like required to have a license or anything even though then you get copyright striked because the the um, artists change their minds and the, it, it gets mismatched. Like if, if you have one song, you get a copyright strike from a completely different artist and you're like, that's not your song, dude. <laughs> um, th this <laughs> is very good for my skin. Sorry, I didn't think. Um, I get so dry during the winter. So I need to do this, otherwise uh, it feels like my skin is turning into paper and falling off. I don't know. And I get red here. So sometimes I just add that cream without thinking about it. <laughs> I usually don't do that on stream. <laughs> oh, Nina is here. Uh, okay, well, um, that's her butt. Invite her in. Be nice, but I think you need to get some food in your also. What are you doing? Well, I was like, are you flirting with Angela? Because everyone is, but I don't think he is. 
I hope. Um, she needs some medicine, so we should purchase medicine and have her drink it so that, she, so that she doesn't die. That would be very unfortunate, but first sleep on the floor. Who did that? Rosita came here and made us a very nice painting. I like that painting. It's very nice. Let's put it on this. Uh, no. I can't do it. Let's put it on the, the wall here. This is so nice. I like this painting a lot. Look at that. Well, that increased our lot taxes. <laughs> <laughs> Not by much though, but you know. Uh, add a frame. All right, you can't sh uh, choose the color of the frames when it's a uh, painting. I want it to be brown. All right. Well, we'll have to do. Oh, I accidentally went into there. Okay, now my game is lagging seriously lagging so let's sometimes when i save uh the lagging stops uh it might be some calculations i mean this game is um it's so weirdly coded it's like um there's a lot of calculation going on in the background and it can't keep up with itself i don't know how you can fail on doing calculations like I mean they shouldn't be really difficult calculations it seems to be like okay this person said something to this person so now uh, we gotta increase their relationship it seems to, that it should be really simple um, formula like okay this interaction a percentage of how good it went and then increase um their relationship a little bit done that's not hard on the processor <laughs> but it seems like something else is going on in between and it and it's it's not threaded it's like it's uh, in one it's not asynchronous it, it seems so stuff that probably could be done in the background and it's not that time sensitive is clogging up or like slowing down everything else i don't know why they did that um but probably it has to do with project olympus like everything else is in this game and my nose is very itchy i don't know what happened to it <laughs> like i <coughs> Oh, now my voice decided to give up too. <clears throat> well, we'll see how long this uh, works for. Um, usually I only stream like two hours. So, so then uh, we have like 40 minutes left if that's what we're going for today. I usually stop though when I feel like stopping, like when I feel lightheaded or when my voice gives up completely or I feel too tired or something. But usually I don't uh, understand how tired I Why? Why do you go? What are you doing, Angela? <coughs> like she is seriously confused about whose bed is whose bed. Uh, I think. <coughs> <coughs> I think Ryan did this too before, like his bed is over here and I think he had a nap in Akira's bed. I don't know, are they suddenly very lazy and won't go further into the room? I do not know. Um, did you not embrace Rosita yet? Where is, where is she? Did she go home? Um, yeah, she went home. Well then you gotta take a rain check i guess and he wants to embrace dina who is asleep can we wake her yeah 
Like, she... Wouldn't it be funny if the Sims, if you woke them up like this, they got grumpy or like had a tense moodlet or an uncomfortable moodlet because got woken up? Uh, maybe they do actually. Let's let's check what happens. She is tense pro from not understanding uh, because Akira speaks Komarebigo and she is uh, Salvadoradian, so. They don't really understand each other. Have you heard painting paintings at the Romance Festival is in the is the in thing right now? Wanna try it out? Sure. But these two cannot afford a ticket to fly over to the states where the festival is. They're in the in Britain right now because the university is in Britain. So uh he's busy. And also, he's busy trying to... Why don't you go and have a nap instead? Like, I, I mean, it makes sense for them to drink coffee during the day, but sometimes they're just too tired. It doesn't make sense to drink more coffee. They just go all uh, weird. Okay, oh, we're gonna shake. Okay, so she's angry because she got a rude awakening. Oh, so that happened. I like that. I didn't know that that was going to happen. Um, but he wants to embrace her. Maybe, maybe that. Ooh, ask to be girlfriend. Mm, I don't think I'm gonna do that because he has a wife. We'll see what happens. Let's do embrace. Um, I think he's just like. He's angry at Nina because she was unfaithful to him. So he feels like he's getting her back by being with Dina. Like her sister. <laughs> like, where are you, Don? Or, like, what is happening? Um, but, oh my goodness. <laughs> now he gets told off. Why would you wake me up? I was sleeping. And you just wake woke me up. Like, I need my beauty sleep. Do you think this happens by accident? I need to rest up or I will uh, become ugly. Okay, well, now you got what you wanted. So he wants to stargaze. He also, what, what is this? Buy an object. Yeah, uh, right. I was just keeping that. Because sooner or later, I'm going to buy something. But they have so many things. I don't think I'm gonna buy something now. <laughs> the thermostat is set to 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 cooler. What? But it is cold. I think we're gonna turn this off. This is confusing. It is summer though, but we don't need to cool a house down when it's cold outside. Why is it so cool? That's weird. Um... Well, uh, autumn starts tomorrow, apparently, so that's probably why. Oh, he's sick too. Goodness. Uh, did they, like, infect each other? Let's have him order some medicine. And have him take that. Uh, take medicine. Also, how are you doing on your studies? Well, he has done the presentation and the term paper. Uh, go and have some food. Dina, you have some work to do. Um, I always forget what, what room is hers. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no, let's see. Term paper. Continue. Why did you stop? You get too tired, maybe. Don't know. Angela is sleeping in Akira's bed for some reason. Um. Oh my goodness! Wait, he hasn't done his presentation. That do you? Ha okay, I thought I sent him to do the presentation before, but apparently. 
I did not. His presentation is excellent. Will he have time to do it? Term days left six. Yes, he will have time to do it. We are going to play with them for another week when when time is going to stand still because that's the only way I have figured out how to how to do this. Well, while we're waiting for that, he can go on his computer. Thank you very much, Nina. <clears throat> and work on the term paper too. Oh my goodness, he has two term papers to write. All right, I'm just gonna take the top one. But he, oh, he has six days. He was quite a bit late on getting enrolled. So, but I think it's going to be fine as long as he finishes the next term. Because as I'm playing rotationally, if I leave them mid term, <laughs> they are gonna like whatever level they are, uh, in terms of like schoolwork, they stay that way. And if that's not enough to, to graduate, then they fail. Uh, because even though I say like, I'm, I'm putting, so this is my game options. Okay, okay. Right now, we only age up active household, which is this one, but we also age up unplayed sims which means that the ones that we have played are frozen in time but they're not frozen in time because stuff is happening uh, but they don't age if it would have been sims 2 stuff would have been a little bit more frozen uh, so it's only for university when i have this clicked otherwise i always have this unclicked like this but now i we are playing university and then for this week we have all aging on like that, like for active household and for unplayed households. But for next week in, <laughs> in this house, we are going to freeze time because then uh, by Sunday, all the Sims are synced age wise. So that means during that week and I can move in and out Sims and their age won't be screwed up. <laughs> So, uh, and uh, then I can have them finish their studies and then I can uh, have them move out and move new students in. <sighs> it's kind of exhausting. Um, but I, this is the best I've come up with. Like if you have any other way uh, that that you play university then let me know because maybe my way my way is not the best way michael piton has aged up you know what i think is strange is is that it says it doesn't say aged up it says it she has aged up like with a with a in the strict uh between the words I think that's odd. <laughs> well, oh my goodness, she has a want to publish free books. Oh, I thought it was for school work, but okay. Well, wait. Three additional books. Well, uh, aren't you glad you didn't publish the last one? Where is it? There it is. Where are my children? It has not yet been published. Let's publish it. I'm gonna put this out here and create a copy. Well, that was only 56. Why is it only 56? Do not know. Uh, did you do it? Oh, she needs to walk up to it. I should have put it closer. I did not. And then this is the annoying part. You need to like, okay, so that one, this is the copy. We can't publish that. So I need to take the original, that one we can publish. Ah. It's sort of annoying. Um, so we are selling to publisher. I think it's the best option. There you go. And yeah. Uh, and then 
after <laughs> you go to sleep. She's so tired. Dina has finished a draft on the term paper. Good work, Dina. Uh, you are being tired, so I'm gonna let you sleep because that term paper will not be good enough. Stop it. Have have a little nap. Nap lazily, and hope no one wakes you up this time. <laughs> Well, one can hope. There we go. And he is working on his term paper. Good. He's hungry. Uh, that didn't work, did it? No. Well, the third <laughs> uh, lot trait that I didn't talk about before was that this... Uh, it was now it's fast internet but it, oh no we have spooky and simple living um i'm hoping that one of these will go next week because they're quite annoying uh especially when you have many sims and they don't auto complete to cook um apparently uh, fruit salad we can't do a party size because we don't have enough fruit so maybe it's time to order some groceries uh, order delivery grocery delivery uh, oh my goodness what is wrong with this book cooking volume 3 275 simoleons why well let's have some of these uh, less expensive fruits and vegetables pumpkin sure why not spinach uh watermelon oh <laughs> sure why not have some perch i'm just buying these because they're cheap raspberries cheese Sure, how much do we want to spend on food now? I usually do 10 of these. Uh, I think we have like this, but I don't know how much. Let's just have five. Let's have 10 of these eggs because I don't know if we had any. I know I bought sugar last time. Charming mushroom. Sure, why not? You could plant these, by the way. Um, Okay, let, let's hope that's enough. Uh, we only bought fish. We didn't buy any of the regular. So now, okay, <laughs> you still can't cook. You can make your fruit salad, make a fruit salad. Uh, order the, the groceries. You'll have more options next time. Someone else will probably accept the groceries. Oh, uh, I started this stream. It was in the middle of the night to, uh, <laughs> uh, between Friday and Saturday, and it's still Saturday. And <laughs> it's uh, like one and a half hours later. If you're wondering why, it's because I have MC Command Center and you go to MC Settings. I have so many computers, I still do that. Anyway. So there is actually a setting in here. I think it's on the game settings and game time speed. Uh, I have raised this from 25 to 35. So that gives me quite long days. And <laughs> I didn't realize I had it on. I have, I'd have i had it so for so long <laughs> that I didn't actually know that I, it was still on. Um, that it was there at all. So, what are, you, what are you doing up? You're still tired. Well, take coffee then. So then I accidentally reset my settings. <laughs> so, <laughs> and that um, that made me realize, gosh darn, the time flies by fast. 
Um, and then I realized this, that I, that there was a setting for time and then I, that I usually has it, had it on 35 and then, <laughs> like, that's quite a, quite a change. It's like 30% extra. Um, but it makes such a difference. Uh, you, you really have time to do stuff and, uh, in my game, one sim day is half a year. And I think this time setting makes sense. Um, but if you want, if you were doing like a legacy challenge and wanted to get to 10 generations, I wouldn't recommend it because it takes ages <laughs> to get anywhere. But you really have time to like spend time with your sims and you get to know them and everything. Um, well, Angela, since you are so keen on publishing books, why don't you just do that? Uh, put that, well, create another copy actually, and then write, uh, because I, I don't think she has any more university thingies to do. Nope. Um, this bugs me. She could apply to universities, but she's already in university. I don't like that. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense if she wants to have another degree after, but I don't think we're going to do that. No. So we are looking for the right. Uh, and this time she is going to write. She has already uh, written a workout guide. So I don't think like we're going to do another one. Maybe we do... Did we do a short story or screenplay before? I think we did a screenplay, so maybe we try a short story. What did it say? I didn't read it. What did it say? Keep it short, otherwise it's a long story. Yeah, <laughs> that's how that works. <laughs> keep it. Write a short story. Be sure to keep it short, otherwise it's a long story. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I love the humor of some people that writes these descriptions. Uh, well, goodbye, Nina. I hardly noticed you were here, so that's fine. This house is pretty big. Uh, and also, I, this room uh, is for the... Okay, okay. When I move my sims in, <laughs> I decide who gets to be in what room. This has the two... Um, previous lots of students have been for couples so this room has had couples in them this is the first time I have two students living up here I don't know if I like it anyway so the ones do, with the most money in their bank accounts get this rooms this room uh, and the ones with the least money in, in their bank accounts get this room because it's on the top floor so it's hard to get to um, that's why I didn't put them down here. Uh, these are the middle ones. And in my opinion, these two rooms are the best ones. <laughs> so um, if you're not, like, I don't know. This is just the way I have it right now. I might change it for some other time. Let's, uh, why are you just standing there? Come on, put this in your inventory. There you go. Stop, stop just, Standing. What? You forgot what you were supposed to be doing? Play Sim Shuffle? No. No. You are writing a so short story. We had a whole conversation about it. Why? Sit down. Angela, come on. Why don't you want to do it? <laughs> okay, now she's in the red. Fine. She was just stalling to let me have her. Uh, she she wanted to to be having a nap. I guess that's why. Can she view this? I want her to view it. Also, does it have an aura? No, it doesn't. No one was around, so we left your delivery on your lot. Thanks, I forgot about you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, now 
Sophia has tried the violin. Does she like that? She has level two in it. And but I think there's something here. She's a music lover, so it's not surprising. But is she good at it? She's not good at parenting. She's good at acting though. Maybe I should get get her to be an actor actually after college. She's a pleasure sim. I think that like hmm. Hmm. I was going to put her in the singing career. I don't remember why. She likes singing. Maybe that's why. <laughs> that's probably why. <laughs> But I thought she, she also had a talent for it, but maybe not. Oh, maybe it's like this. No? I don't know. I, sh I think at some point she was actually maxed out in singing. Uh, you know what? I need to show you something. Hi, is this a challenge or just normal gameplay? It's not normal. <laughs> it's not a challenge. <laughs> well, I don't know. I put some rules. They're very chaotic. They are rules. Uh, hang on. Here you go. Wait. Um, I no I haven't written everything down, but that's that's why I tr where I try to write the rules down. So it's kind of a challenge, but not. So it's my like way of playing rotationally. But uh, the thing I was going to show you was, what? where is the, oh, right. There's two tabs right here, right? So these are the active families that I rotate this round. And then everyone else I put in other households. Recently, I noticed this pop-up. <laughs> it says sims within this tab may lose progress info such as skill levels, relationships, etc. So she may have been better at singing at some point and lost that point because uh, because I put her in the inactive tab. I, I'm not okay with that. Like why can't the game keep track of such simple info? It's just... A label <laughs> and a number. How good is this sim at singing? This number. Why would it erase that? That doesn't make any sort of sense to me. And I didn't realize that was there. But okay, maybe she hit her head and forgot how to do it. I don't know. So... <laughs> I just loaded out of the lot, didn't I? Just to show that... Um, uh, well, rant over. Now, what are we doing? She's hungry. Oh, uh, playing is all, apparently all... Unload the delivery bag. Okay, maybe... There is some fireworks going on. Who is doing fireworks and why? And when, when they do, it's too late to go there. <laughs> so when I notice, it's too late. There's probably a schedule or something. I don't know. Yeah, Zorg, just uh, deliver, take that food, put it in here, and then you can, will you out solve it now? Yes. Okay, good. I like that, um, that you have to buy groceries when when you have the symbol lot rate, but I, I like the Sims 2 way the most. Where you go to the store, you just go to a random shelf, and then you just click how much groceries do you want to buy. Like, how many percent do you want to fill up your fridge? They will cost you this much. Thank you, goodbye. <laughs> Akira has finished draft of the term paper. Good work, Akira. Now I go to sleep because it's nighttime. No, go to sleep. My goodness, don't don't be drinking coffee now. I'm trying to get them all to sleep because oh he's doing his homework. I'm gonna let him. Because then we can speed through the night. 
but uh, she's in the green for everything. Um, the thing about homework, I never direct them to do homework, but I do make sure they have a homework uh, book in their inventory, which uh, Alexander does not because he's not <laughs> in school. Well, I hate challenge Sims 4 with rules, but I will continue to watch your stream. Yeah, all right, thank you. Well, everyone plays differently. And I'm not like, I cheat a lot on my own rules. Uh, I just like to have some structure, uh, like, <laughs> I find that like you start with rules and then like, um, for instance, my, uh, it's just a let's play now on my Swedish channel on YouTube. Uh, that started out like the 100 baby challenge and for the t first two generations uh, each sim had eight babies because I didn't understand the rule about aging children up when they uh, when they get to to uh, have the A grade in school I didn't I didn't understand that there that rule existed <laughs> So I missed that. So I didn't understand how you could get more than eight children because uh, the sim would age up. Um, yeah, I started it like that, but then I got so into it so that um, uh, the current sim is <laughs> is like, uh, yeah, I'm very invested in her. So and she, she doesn't really do the 100 baby challenge but sometimes I still say it is because like she's still having kids and it's still like a legacy I don't know so you know <laughs> Sims 4 is already lacking a lot of stuff from Sims 2 and 3 using rules and limit more of the game no actually what it lacks is the rules <laughs> I disagree what what the Sims 4 lacks is the challenge so that you need to add the challenge uh, but I have some mods that really helps. So the biggest mod that I think helps the best with giving them personality is the personality mod. <laughs> and it's derived from The Sims 2. Uh, you give your Sim, uh, you go in here, you can give your Sim any of these, uh, Family Sim, Fortune Sim, uh, Grilled Cheese Sim, sure. Uh, knowledge sim, pleasure sim, or pop popularity sims. Uh, so those are based on The Sims 2 uh, aspirations. And of course, Dina Caliente is a fortune sim. And then you get whims based on those. Um, <laughs> so I, I, think, I feel like uh, th that really helps if you don't want to do a challenge. But then if you don't pay attention to the whims, you might not notice it <laughs> so, so you gotta like but you know like everyone uh, does does it differently and for me i really i really do like um to have a game that is that is a challenge um and i i really like okay this is this is why I play with so many rules for for uh, the university. I was uh, it's loosely based on uh, Pleasant Sims rules. Um, it's because I like some of them to fail. <laughs> I want to have Sims that is really like not successful, like because if you play rotationally. You play a lot of different sims like if you only play one sim of course then you want that sim uh, to succeed but you don't want it to be too simple because like uh, vanilla game is not hard <laughs> except for university that is too hard uh, I, that's why i have uh, course credit uh, just four course credit needed because university is like impossible otherwise it takes forever and like i i never like I, I start them out when they're young adults, like in vanilla game, I start them out when they're young adults and maybe when they're elderly, they graduate. Like, what was the point of that? 
<laughs> that didn't make any sense. Uh, that's the only time that The Sims 4 is too challenging, in my opinion. Um, like many making money and so on is uh, very easy in The Sims 4. So that's why I install a lot of mods helping with that. Oh, Rosita is here again. Oh my goodness, Sophia does not like her. Wait, <sighs> could we have one-sided relationship? I get all mixed up. Sophia likes Rosita, but Rosita doesn't like Sophia. That's why it's like this. But the game can't handle that. <sighs> because Sophia thinks that Rosita is extreme, extremely attractive. But Rosita likes Angela. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, you know, uh, I guess I'm confused. Uh, anyway. Mm. Anyway, with these mods that I have now, it's like it's the personality mod and it's the have some personality please and it's the whims overhaul. I also have Carl's public part of his mod, uh, but I, I'm not sh too sure what that does to be honest because I didn't read it too carefully. Anyway, with those three that I mentioned first, uh, I really do feel that The Sims 4 is not lacking anymore. I feel like I, I finally have uh, a good game again um, with <laughs> good story progression thanks to MC Command Center. Like I'm happy with this setup. I, I do not feel like it's lacking anymore. Uh, I actually like it and I have been so angry and so uh, critical of this game having it run like uh, like I don't feel that, that it's lacking anymore <laughs> I feel like it, it's it, it's perfect but I still I still uh, plan on playing some more uh, Sims 2 um, someday in the near future but we'll see so but uh i do understand that uh when uh, someone wrote on twitter that uh people that say sims 4 is a good game and then they have the mod uh, the game modded into oblivion that it's not even the same game anymore sure well actually that person wrote that about the sims 2 <laughs> so, sure but it, ever since the sims 2 that is the way we play it we mod it uh, until we have it like we want it and that's how you play the game and that's why i don't think that ea should ever have sold the sims 4 for console because they cannot handle it uh and they the console players cannot have mods to fix all their mess. So they shouldn't have done it. Uh, it's not fair to anyone that bought it on console, thinking they would have the full experience, because you can never have the full experience when you're not having all the mods that is necessary to make The Sims a good game. Uh, I think The Sims 3 is probably like the only game in the series no sims 1 and 3 <laughs> is the only two games in the series that you can play without mods and be completely happy with it um, unless it bugs out on you because sims 3 i can't i can't do it can't play it because uh it's about to turn sunday <laughs> i just realized I can't play The Sims 3 at all because uh, my save file will, oh my goodness, Angela's sedentary uh, lifestyle is at risk. You know what? Good. <laughs> 
Well, uh, I've had so many save files corrupt, uh, and I I usually I enjoy having a lot of generations. So when it corrupts after like four generations, and you're trying to get to ten, and also why would you stop at ten? Uh, it's so disheartening. Like. I, I, I feel like I don't want to start a new uh, save file even because because I know it, it will just like corrupt or something at some point um, changing my spreadsheet to Sunday uh, so I can know what is going on there we go so that's why I don't play The Sims 3. It's a good game when it works, but it doesn't work for me, unfortunately. I don't know if it's my play style or what it is. Uh, okay. <laughs> so Sunday, I had it set to focus on Alexander. So, well, I've been focusing on, on them a lot. That's one of the rules, by the way, that I keep breaking. <laughs> <laughs> like because I find, think it's funny look how buff he is like how does this happen anyway I think it's sometimes fun to limit yourself so you can only play one sim and see what the other ones do because that's fun for me um, but I am uh, kind of a control freak and there's way too many interesting things going on so I break that rule a lot Oh, he wants to find an odd job. Well, let's see if there's an ASAP job. Uh, no, there's no odd jobs. Odd jobs are unavailable right now. Check back at 8 a.m. All right, so you gotta wait. But he has the whim to try for a baby. I don't know who he finds attractive. It used to be, oh, Dina. Ugh. Um, good luck, Alexander. I don't think that's going to happen. He doesn't like Sophia. It used to be that when you hovered like this, you also got the the relationship part of, of this view. So you could see this part. And it was so handy. I want, I want everything in this pop-up. <laughs> like all of it. Like I could do with not seeing the traits here to and have the relationship instead. That would be better for me because I use that way more. Um, I usually don't, I don't act too much on what traits they have. So, well, uh, what are you thinking about this sim? Well, I think maybe Alexander is very straight. Let's check that, shall we? Mm. We just go in here and see he prefers females. He does not like males, but he doesn't dislike any of them. So, but he is not. So I, I put him as straight. So <laughs> Josita is not straight though. Oh, he likes her. Um, and she's here. Try to interact with her and see what happens. <laughs> you know what I mean, why not steal the the wife of your roommate? He's moving out tomorrow, so he won't have to deal with. Um... Is is there some some girl, by the way, that she that he? Um... Oh, that's his sister. <laughs> uh, that he really likes. They all have spouses, so it's impossible to find someone that is single. Because he doesn't have so high relationship with this, these people, except Sophia, but he doesn't think she's that attractive. She's friend-zoned. I was going to have him hook up with Brenda, but now he is a young adult and she's a preteen, so it's not... It's really not suitable. She, she will have to grow up first, so we'll just not go there. Um, but when they were both preteens, I thought they would be cute together, but now I did some miscalculations, that's why <laughs> I, I thought they were closer age-wise uh, than they are. 
They are not. Uh, Elsa, he doesn't like her. Uh, he doesn't know her. Uh, what about Mayra? How old is she even? She's a young adult. She's married, of course, like everyone else. Uh, he thinks she's attractive. What about Mia? Oh, I just... Oh, yeah. Uh, she's basic looking. Melee. Is it melee or melee? Me, me, mele. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, she is attractive too, but, you know, she's married to Mortimer, so I don't think so. Um, what about Olivia? Who are you? Perceives the basic looking. No. See, this takes forever to find uh, what sims are attractive and not. Uh, everyone is just attractive. No one is like very extremely attractive. Except Rosita here. Well. I guess I guess we keep talking to her and see what happens. Maybe they hook up later. I think we, we should get the friendship level up first before we try anything. <laughs> That's why I sometimes do. Sometimes I go like straight into um straight in, into uh, flirting with them but since uh, Alexander here he has the good trait I think he will be a little bit more careful <laughs> he will just not jump in bed with someone he's like uh, going to get to know her more like he doesn't know her traits or anything yet so what are you, why are you uh, standing here like if you're hungry, go have some food. <laughs> what is going on? Also, I really like this hairstyle, but you can't see their faces. See if you're on the wrong side. So th that's annoying. <laughs> hey, she gets away. Where are you going? Uh, maybe because it's in the middle of the night. But confess you're afraid of vampires. Maybe that will help. Who's this? Ekram. All right. I don't understand why he doesn't like Sophia. She's single. <laughs> Emily Goth has aged up to a teen. Oh my goodness, Emily. I need to have a look at her. Oh, I need to change her hairstyle. That is not Afro at all. <laughs> That is so wrong. Well, are you going to... Sometimes they they get... So, so here's another thing I... I sometimes do. Well, I, I, I break this rule a lot, a lot. But sometimes I say to myself, I can only do the things that show up in the first view when I click on the sim. Uh, and okay <laughs> and that makes uh, the sims personality and wishes and everything um, stand out more to me um, I see more about what they want he wanted to complain about the rain apparently then maybe if he wants to complain about the rain maybe you could um, Declare a preference. Uh, declare hate for rain. So, okay, I'm gonna note that in my spreadsheet now. <laughs> uh, I, I like finding out stuff that I didn't... Um, rain. That I didn't decide on. So maybe Alexander doesn't like rain. Not sure how that's gonna come into play. Does he have a lot of... No. <laughs> he hasn't fulfilled many wishes in his life. Uh, well... It, it, maybe that's because he only gets wishes... Oh, okay, we can do this. High bump someone. She's getting away again. 
Is that because she needs to be somewhere? See, if you if you have the rule to only use the first uh, view of actions, <laughs> then you don't have to deal with the annoyance of trying to find a specific action in the menu. <laughs> Like if all, if you're, all you are allowed to do this, then you don't have to look for the other one. Uh, ask about a degree. Like that's nice to find out. So he knows she is married to Ryan. But uh, it's like this: when you find someone that is extremely attractive, you want to talk to them at least and also like the way i accidentally set my mc command settings everyone has a spouse you have to break them up it's it's not my fault uh that i set that setting it is actually <laughs> oh well i can't be helped uh you're so fun, fun to be around now they have a sentiment oh i wish it would come up here why why doesn't it work uh okay so it's her sentiments towards him that oh she is impressed alexander sure knows what he's doing and rosita has nothing but respect really but he is such a failure <laughs> closer from half her memories because he he graduated from um what is it high school with f as a final grade like he he basically got kicked out what happened okay uh and he doesn't have a job yet because he hasn't had the the wish for it so i don't give him a job i think it's more fun that way you know the the way you can just like click here and have him join any career like I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna. <laughs> He's just gonna check what is available so that he knows for the future. <laughs> like you can you can literally go into any career. Like I really preferred how the it was in The Sims 2. If you had if you didn't have a computer, you only get three options per day in the newspaper. And if you have a computer, you get five. And uh, and that's it. All the. <gasps> My goodness, she is so pregnant. <laughs> I really enjoy that better. Oh, I wish I wish I understood better what, what you meant when you said that Sims 4 is already lacking a lot of stuff and using rules. would take away from the game like i i think adding rules is adding to the game <laughs> so but that's just me we all play differently um and i'm really curious about like understanding different play styles why do you keep walking away from me where are you going oh are you going to give us another painting thank you Thank you, Rosita. Okay. Well, now it's time for you to go to bed because it's in the middle of the night. And I guess... Oh, he wants to embrace Rosita. Where did she go? Did she start a painting and then walk away? I don't like when they do that. Let's grab that painting. <gasps> no, don't stop with your homework. Oh. Thank God, <laughs> because we want him to finish his homework. Don't stop, don't stop, keep doing it. That way you might uh, not get kicked out, but chances of that are slim. Like you're gonna, you're gonna fail, aren't you? Well, I don't know. But uh, I feel like it's in the middle of the night and it's, 
I think this is a good time to end the stream because um, I need to get lunch. <laughs> I really feel like it's time for lunch and we are uh, going to raid the channel and go to lunch. And I really hope you had a good time and that you uh, join me next time. And next time I will, okay, I promise next time I, I will announce my being online on Twitter. So follow me on Twitter. I'm Vidde uh, on there. You can see it on the top right corner right now that I am Vidde <laughs> on Twitter. And, um, it says be deleted on YouTube, but you won't find me uh, like that. You go to supervida.com, then you find my YouTube channel where I will uh, upload all my previous streams. Uh, or, you know, when I have the energy, I will upload uh, archives of streams on there so you can see them. I'm trying to be good at that uh, at the moment. So. Anyway, until next time, have a super duper time and take care and uh, stay safe. Bye.